Welcome to Oracle Cloud Lease Accounting Course. This is Mohammed Salah. I have around 13 years of experience in Oracle, e-business and Oracle Cloud. I will be an instructor of this course. So let's start to know what is our objectives. First of thing that you will we will describe Oracle Vision Cloud Lease Accounting features and its processes how to configure lease accounting, how to create leases manually or via import through FBDI or whatever, how to manage leases throughout their life cycle, understand the underlying accounting processes, how to generate reports related to lease accounting. This is our roadmap for Oracle lease accounting implementations what we will configure we will configure how first of thing we need to enable feature opt-in we need to define the security payable financial op options general ledger calendar currency conversion rate account available supplier supplier site location inventory items business unit business functions system options descriptive flex field payment term tem payment term template discount rate and the document sequence as you know that most of these most of them is optional most of them required it depends on your business requirement you will follow the roadmap of lease accounting implementation for example dff a descriptive flex fields maybe you don't need to to add any descriptive flex field so you will not define it uh, for example items maybe you define one or two items no need to define more and so on what's the next slide here the first thing that it's important to understand that the features of oracle is accounting are geared towards addressing the accounting and reporting requirements IFRS 16 and the ASC 842 are the new accounting standards that change the way companies account for leases. The Oracle Lease Accounting automates the calculations and generation of the lease amortization. The software is compliant with the new standards. What you see here are the features of lease accounting that support companies need to report in Coordinates with IFR 16 and ASC 842. The lease details include a lease term and the amount to invoice. For example, for such expense as a lease rent, these amounts to invoice are defined during the lease creation and they maintain within lease accounting. Leases are then validated, their payment schedule generated to manage amounts to invoice and pay list source. One of the most powerful features of lease accounting is its ability to generate the journals for all aspects of lease. For example, to calculate the present value and the amortization of the rights of the use of the assets and the lease liability balances according with IFRS 16 ASC 842. Lease is seamlessly integrated with the Oracle Cloud Financial Accounting. Lease accounting will also generate a single view of all lease contracts obligations to assist accountants and the other users that are involved. The business benefits of all these features include the automation of generating complaint lease accounting provide information of planning of a single view of lease contract obligations the lease accounting key features are closely matched with the company's business needs lease accounting helps with the complying with the accounting standard in an automated fashion it's capture leases in a single repository and provides users configurable templates to create payment schedules the cash schedules also are used to generate lease balances and payable invoices. When the amortization schedule is generated, the lease assets balances are generated as well. The system uses daily compounding interest calculations along with the choice of daily or periodical amortization methods. 
for all the rights of use assets and lease liability calculations as required these accounting key features are closely matched with the company's business needs this accounting helps with complying with the accounting standards in an automated fashion all of these that as you see here comply with accounting capture cash standard cash to meet credit leases and all of this the key business benefits for example starting from the left of the table as you see here lease accounting will capture lease details like lease term accounting classifications as a finance or operating lease lease amendment and lease terms are captured as well the lease accounting is integrated into oracle cloud financials accounting framework to generate accounting and that includes accruals of the lease liabilities the other important integration is with oracle payable to generate the payables and generate payables invoices seamless integration of any invoicing and payment schedules it's all involved in the process finally lease accounting will provide detailed amortization tables and other information in the form of schedule reports and on screen views again the IFRS 16 requires all qualified leases to be classified as finance leases and recognized on balance sheet as lease liabilities and right of use assets ASC 842 qualified leases can be classified as finance or operating leases the operating leases under ASC 842 will require these expenses to be recognized on a straight line basis over the lease term the IFRS 16 has been in effect since January 1 of 2019 companies using ASC 842 should begin using new standards now let's start by lease accounting implementation this is the roadmap to use for lease accounting implementation as you know that some of them is required some of them is optional and it depends on your business requirement or business needs for example descriptive flex field is optional it's up to you up to your business requirement and whatever this is the sequence as you know that some of them you already implemented before for example payable supplier sites uh, payable financial options general digital calendar currency conversion payment term all of these things maybe also you implementing or uh, implemented the uh, supply chain for inventory items master business units business functions so you have to follow this roadmap for to complete the configuration of lease accounting implementation for first of thing here is enable feature opt-in as you know for any functional area or whatever modules you have to enable feature opt-in to enable future opt-in for lease accounting first of all the financial application administrator role must be assigned to your user to enable feature opt-in once you assigned here let's get into applications i am logging in here i just go to setup and maintenance and select financial you can go to down there is lease accounting either from here or change or feature opt-in after you assign the financial application administrator to your user you just select the financials and change feature opt-in to enabling the lease accounting module
as you see here just go down until you found lease accounting just enable the lease accounting once you enable you click on done once you enable the feature obtain for lease accounting what is the options here as you see here create property equipment lease lease activation amendment amendment for sc scope either increases or decreases also a set end date and options you can enable this feature to create options and include as its end date for lease in lease accounting lease contract import and conversion lease payment processing end of lease processing f fixed rent increases all of these options we will talk about during practice as create lease uh, activate lease in the activate lease and so on so once you enabled all of these features is enabled next step is there are three options or methods to implementing as a lease accounting and also you aware about now the methods to how to implementing any modules now in oracle cloud either through fsm like functional setup manager using csv files all using rapid implementation spreadsheet or user interface user interface it's like you select the functional area or whatever the module financials is in lease accounting then start to select the tasks either the required task or any task optional and required and start to set up it one by one for the leasing of if you are going to uh, using uh, setup through csv files you can set up system options and discount rate payment terms using csv spreadsheet from the manage lease accounting configuration this is the setup that you have to export predefined template enter the data create zip file import and verify auto completed setups and this is the general setup steps in any if you follow these steps for any modules not only lease accounting you have to download predefined template or export enter the data for the setup files again create the file import then verify auto complete setups for these modules you just go to uh, functional as a setup financials and go to lease accounting and start to come here to obtain or click here then create or export csv file create new it will ask uh, ensure yes it will download or here it will give you some, some options to export only template files and again submit so here also you can select business objects whatever all or this scope enabled or not enabled export blah 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 and start to submit to download the csv files then enter your setup files create the file import and verified autocomplete setups the other one is this is what i did it now rapid implementation spreadsheet that you, you have to download the configuration template find the template again or fill the template with the information required and upload to the update setup last one is just go to lease accounting and start just select lease accounting and start to set up task one by one either all task or required task up to your business requirement what the next step is to create a rule here how to create a rule for each modules there are rules either standard provided by oracle or a customization customization is if you need to deselect some privileges duties blah 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 for lease accounting you have to create first a rule for a lease accounting first of all you have to go to set up security console and start to create a rule
you have to add a specific policy security policy then once you complete the rules you have to assign it to the user just create a rule for example is accounting I will do the same is accounting select financial job rules here you can add any descriptions the next then you can select lease contract management as a duty rule just add functional security policy lease contract like this one and add selected privilege then cancel you will find it here then next then add or create data security policy you have to give a name you have to for example lease which start date this rule will be started for example first of september what is the data source i will select business unit so i can make a control as a data access set through business units select business unit then selected by key and the actions you have to select three options these three options is is select by instance set condition name explicitity of authorized with the business units that once you assign the rule you have to go to that access set to assign specific business units to these rules to the users like gl you have to assign the general accounting to the users then assign uh, this general accounting rule to specific ledger or data access set in that access set to the users if you have a lot of ledgers the same for business units if you have a lot of business units and you assign the accounts variables then you can go to the tax set of type as a business unit and assign a specific business unit to the users so you can explicitly they are authorized for the users depends on the business units for the actions there are three uh, actions or data security balls you have to assign lease manage lease configuration manage lease contract and generate amortization schedule just go to down looking for these three type As you see here, manage lease configuration, manage lease contract, and generate amortization schedule. That's it. Okay. Again, you will find down our all three. Okay. Then next, next, and assign it to users if you need. If not, I can ha add, for example, my user. after that just cancel you will find my user here next save and close this is how to create the rule for the lease accounting you just add specific function security policy and assign which explicitly or which type of the authorized you will create these rules i create the authorized based on the business units after that you can go to settlement maintenance for data access set and assign the specific business units for these rules to my users 
if I or you have a lot of business unit data access sets you can manage data access set for users and again select your user or whatever the users add and this is my user and which rule you will find lease accounting and here so I will select business unit and select which business unit you will adding this rule for example if there are supremo or whatever this for example and save and close and done then you can uh, uh, create the LDAP authorization once you assign any rules you have to just run LDAP changes retrieve la uh, latest LDAP changes and that's it so what is the next roadmap uh, again if we come back to our roadmap now we enabled feature opt-in we define security and assign the rules the available financial options i think all of us know how to enable financial payable financial options that these we uh, added to the users and next step is this is uh, the access these four fi uh, payable financial options you have to assign uh, the default distributions accounts to complete the options of payables and procurement in the payable functional area and this is not only for leasing but it's also for procurement to complete all the accounts which will be generating through either leasing and in procurement as you see here you have to go to define payable financial options and complete you complete it for lease accounting for the gl once you come back here there are two parts in gl as calendars and the currency because the calendar is very very important for lease because when during we starting to create a lease there are start date and date uh, inactivate date activate date all of these dates it must be came from gl calendars so by the way you already implemented the calendar for your current implementations because this is a for importing for C's for any ledger either chart of account currency calendars or ledger accounting methods all of these things so you have to complete the general ledger calendar it will be very important during create the leasing accounting the other thing is conversion conversion rates and types if you are going to make any leasing in any different currencies so the conversion must be there the rates must be there the currency also must be enabled to give you a lot of options during the uh, create the leasing manage the, the lease for full cycles and all of these things as you see here calendar contains years and periods when you define a calendar you must provide which start date, end date, period type, period, frequency. Manage currency, configure currency information to enable selection of currency, version, rate type, daily rates of payment information in the lease. Also, Oracle provide full cross currency functionality to meet the needs of global companies. As you see here, yen, euro, dollar, whatever this is currency functionality is designed for our financial accounting standards and international accounting standards overview of suppliers because during also create the user uh, lease sorry it's sometimes you bring equipment uh, purchase whatever you will or leasing also you will assign the suppliers suppliers is a part of the trading community module using in a lot of place procurement payable or lease accounting payment and also you cannot use supplier without supplier sites so once you create the suppliers you have to create supplier sites because these supplier sites you will assign it to the business units and you create a lease accounting rule and assign the authorized rule or the authorized type is by business units so 
this is a full cycle that you once you create the suppliers you can create supplier site assign it to specific business units so in these business units it will be using for only this listed of these business units and uh, as you know it's one too many so you can assign one site to a lot of uh, business units if you have a lot of business units to create suppliers there are a lot of things you can create supplier registration or directly in supplier work area by procurement agent or supplier import there are a lot of videos to how to upload suppliers through fbti that there are a lot of templates one one tablet for supplier for information profile another template for supplier sites another template for supplier banking account another template for supplier uh, site assignment supplier bank details supplier tax registrations for each of these information there is one specific template through fbdi i already created one uh, video before and on youtube there are a lot of uh, videos related to if you have a lot of suppliers if you are going to make upgrade from any uh, current system whatever manual or uh, oracle or non oracle you have to use this fbdi template to create your suppliers or directly you just uh, give uh, the access for procurement agent to your users and through this procurement agent you will assign a specific business unit and through this specific business unit you will uh, select the function function means this functions is like uh, i will create uh, pr purchase acquisition i will create purchase order i will uh, manage supplier manage supplier sites create suppliers only view only create blah 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 supplier uh, registrations if you have a supplier portal whatever it's uh, or any third party for supplier registration and make integration with oracle cloud this is a third type to create supplier what next step here supplier business relationship step is the business relationship as you see here it must be spent authorized and you can create supplier site assignment and site assignment status and all of these things here we already talked about it here control which business unit can use the site of leases because we assigned i create a rule for lease which was authorized by business units so i create once i create the suppliers i create a business unit for leases what next just create locations if you come back here obtain done security done payable for financial option done calendar done currency account supplier on site and here is the uh, locations just uh, go to enterprise profile select all tasks and start to manage locations you have to define the locations because also it will be helpful in during our journey in leasing uh, life cycles either create or advances to search and also all of us but i think by default we created the locations for inventory for uh, city what is the country what is the postal code what is the address line one status and so on the next step is inventory manage items for the inventory uh, or items the items is very very important for lease because maybe during i creating the lease i uh, select specific items which is already def defined in my uh, organizations or inventories and this uh, manage inventory organizations you can create the items and you can select it during create the lease so it's very also important or yeah, I, again it's up to your requirements the journey or the item master is required to configure equipment leases if you have a leases for for a type of equipment so you have to define like this equipment uh, like items in your inventory organizations the manage items which while creating item in the users you have optionally define item structure assign to organization create relationship assign catalog categories and add, add attachment to the items i think also if you already implementing the procurement 
by the way you will defined or procurement and you will define inventory and you define a lot of items the structure of to define any items to define item structure uh, catalog and uh, categories and assign it to organizations and assign this item to these categories this is a normal process since oracle e-business to oracle visions to how to manage items Again, it's very important if you use the type of equipment these items through your journey or through your implementing the leading accounting module. What's the next is business unit functions. Through, once you define the business unit, you have to assign business unit functions, right? One of them is lease accounting. So you have to enable the lease accounting function for the business units. Either you already defined before, so you have to go to manage business units and assign business units functions and go to, to select it as a lease accounting to enable lease accounting function. Or you from scratch you are going to assign or create a new business unit functions. So you have to enable these lease accounting once you define the business units the system will ask you to assign the business unit function to these business units one of them is lease accounting as you see here to enable this option for the business unit functions as you see here for the managed business units you select it and go to the functions you will find lease accounting up to here we defined up to eight and nine we complete feature opt-in security payable financial option general geo calendar currency supplier site supplier location inventory and business unit business functions next video inshallah we will continue set up script flex field and this is optional payment term payment term template discount and document sequence again if anyone anybody needs or have any question related to our normal functions or setup for example payable, fair, payable financial options general ledger calendar currency conversions supplier supplier site locations inventory just write in descriptions to answer you see you next video thank you